Have you always wondered how in Spider-Man you were able to crawl through the building and see the interiors of the room in 3D? Well, in this tutorial we'll learn how to create this fake interior window or interior parallax mapping in UE5. Alright guys, we'll create this in today's session. So basically you can see I have a player who ran up to the window and through the window uh, the player was able to see you know the interiors of the room in 3d but this is basically we are faking through the use of texture so if i go on the other side there's no 3d structure there it's just the manipulation of some images and texture and also through viewing angle it looks like it is all in 3d so basically what we'll do is we'll use this lat long type of cube map uh, which we will use this to trick basically a user uh, through a camera to see the structure to be a 3D. And we'll create this from scratch using Blender. And this would be something like this. So basically a cube map, a simple structure in cube. So we'll start everything from scratch. To get started, just delete the light and then the camera. Uh, select the cube. And then with the S key, uh, just scale up the cube and almost like 3.7 meters, uh, which is a standard size of room. And what we'll do next is we'll go to edit mode. And then basically I'll just create a bunch of materials. Um, basically we are creating a white material for the ceiling, a red for the front and back. And then um, it would be a gray for the floor and then the black for the left wall and then blue for the right wall so you can see basically we are creating some materials in here and you can actually ex expedite this process as well uh, if you want to i could have totally skipped this process but i wanted to make this in case there's any beginners who want to follow along with me and we are just creating material and make sure and when you're creating the materials the specular value is actually zero so that it doesn't come out shiny uh, in the room that we are creating and yeah basically you can see in the video that i'm actually decreasing the specular value to zero and now with the magic of editing, I'll show you my cube box with the material applied. So you can see that we have applied the material as we had described earlier. So this is the cube map that we'll be taking into Unreal. So make sure you, another thing you want to do is actually flip the normal. So we'll do select the cube map, go to edit mode, go to mesh and then uh, we'll go to flip and then we'll do normal and then flip. So right here I was just uh, checking the fish orientation to see if it actually worked. And basically we should only be able to see from inside. So again I'll turn that off and we see from inside the, you know, the material. So this is what we want because we want to only see the interior. So next thing we'll do is we'll go to file, export, and then we'll do FPX and make sure you do a copy path so that texture goes along with it too. So basically when we create material and then link that and then uh, give a name, whatever you like. Uh, maybe in this video, a little bit of it got cut off, but I'm just putting a window pane.fpx and then I'll just hit on the export in here. Yep, and then what we'll do is we'll create a third person template and then just give a name. So basically I'm starting from scratch. Uh, it doesn't matter what you select for Blueprint or C++ because we'll not be using it. So in here, I'll go ahead and create a new folder called, you know, the fake window or whatever you like. This is where I want to import my the 3D model from the blender. So I'll go ahead and press on the import and then I'll select that. You don't have to do anything to basically just import all. And by default, Unreal should create all those materials needed as well. 
and you can see that all the materials are in there and then the box is there so next thing we'll do is we'll create a new level but we'll that would should be completely empty so this is the level that we are going to use to actually capture this model into a texture so make sure there's no light nothing in there just pitch black and empty uh, level in where uh, make sure to import the 3d model and make sure it is aligned to uh, add the origin 000 next we'll add some light because it's dark in here so i'll go ahead and add a maybe a rectangle of light you know it doesn't matter what light you select you can actually go ahead and select the point light as well but i'm just using a rectangular light um, and then i will rotate around to make sure it is oriented properly to the scene and yeah it's in the 90 degrees and then we'll also add some point light so it has we can actually see the interior better um yeah yeah so, so basically adjusting here uh nothing more uh but it's up to you whatever light or stuff you want to create I'll go ahead and add another point light and make sure it is actually a position to zero, zero, zero. And then next we'll do is we'll try to find a scene capture cube and go ahead and drag it into the scene. It should have a camera. Make sure it is uh, reset to zero origin. So basically this is the camera that we'll use to capture this model into a texture. and uh, you can see there is a texture is empty so basically we'll go to right click textures and then cube render texture so basically give any name that you want this is the texture in which we will store this scene capture cube render texture is green but uh, go ahead and select the scene capture cube and then drag that into the target texture and we should see something like this uh, which is more like lat long type of a uh, cube map uh, basically we design it in a blender and that's a, a thing we'll be using to create the materials uh, next thing what i will do is i'll go ahead and create a new level and then add some walls um, and then maybe a plane in which we'll apply a new material with this texture so as you can see this is just a wall with the plain material you know uh, just so that we can place it like a window you know interior so i'll just go ahead and align this uh, plane in here and do the same on the other direction as well and we'll go into the same content folder um, and then the fake window folder we had and then inside in here i'll go ahead and select the create a new material and then you can give a name m underscore fake window or whatever you want to give in make sure to double click on it and then in here what we'll do is from the emissive we'll try to find a parameter um, texture sample cube uh, parameter cube that's what we want and uh, for that texture sample we want to use this texture sample that we just created for the render target uh, so go ahead and then with that selected and make sure to find that i have named it that window texture so i can go ahead and just search in there to find a window texture and there it is we have a window texture and still you get a UV error if you look at the bottom of the window there uh, some error for that uh, we can actually drag to the UV and put in the interior cube map which Unreal already has it and voila you will already have the texture cube map and if I were to go into plane mode and view it but of course uh, there are a lot more tiling and if I were to go ahead and save this and uh, play it in the level then i should be able to view it 
and of course yeah selecting the plane and make sure on the plane you have the that material selected which we have on our fake window stuff I'll just go ahead and create a new material instance and then grab the material instance and drag it in here and you can see that uh, there's a whole lot of tiling uh, because we only have one window and the tiling is a lot more so we'll have to definitely change the tiling in this as you can see when I go in there of course it is working uh, it does look like a matrix of room in here but we'll change that in so we can go back to the material and then in that tiling I'll just go ahead and press number one and then you know just create a scalar value of one and then put it on tiling so I only have one tiling and there it is we just have one room now if I were to save this and go back to the level and play it and then I as you can see uh, it looks like there is an interior 3d space inside that window but you know that it's totally fake and we're just creating an illusion of a space so hopefully this tutorial was helpful to you let me know if you have any questions or comments or anything else you would like to see in a future episodes until then take care stay cool and keep learning